for now. Now I just need to get it so you guys can hear. And then we should actually be good to go. Hello. Hello, 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 everybody. Howdy. We are time. We are day. Um, but <laughs> this is what worked out. So here we are, dude. I'm excited to play some more Final Fantasy 16. Also, hello to YouTube whenever this gets uploaded eventually. I'm like a month behind on uploads. Thankfully, I was like ahead on uploads before for the VODs. So like there's still stuff coming out. But I'm so far behind right now that, uh, yeah, I <laughs> I need to catch up. But it doesn't matter, dude. We're still on the uh, Final Fantasy 16 here. I never cl properly like closed the game. So let's just hop right back into it, shall we? We... What happened? We just, uh, uh spoiler alert. <laughs> I mean, if you're watching the stream, you shouldn't be worried about that. But Sid just died last time we played. Uh, and this is the new hideout, the new hideaway, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we haven't really done anything here yet. Though I did find the hunt board. I'm really excited for the hunt board to actually become, like, open and available Perhaps now. Karon, hello! Is it business? Or pleasure. Uh, tell me about the hideaway, dude. We won't hear me complaining. Oh, shit. I keep, <laughs> I keep forgetting that, like, their voice lines during these sections aren't fully voiced. Um, it's only, like, part of it. But, anyways, you won't hear me complain. It's even roomier than the old one was. Got my own stores, my own little counter. And thanks to you lot fighting the good fight, plenty of demand for me wares. Is the constant bloody racket. If it's not Doris and Otto barking the orders, it's Blackthorn and Bardolph banging away Still. day and night. If a pain in the ear holes the price I have to pay to be Sid the Outlaw's partner in crime, I'd say I've got myself a bargain. What happened the last po fi ba 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 five years? Has it really been five years since we left the old place? How time flies. I'll buy you that nasty shit right now. We have to do five shots. I, I do one. Gladly, but I'm not doing five, man. It's not even because I don't like it. It's because I don't drink that much, man. <laughs> like, I don't get drunk anymore. I don't do that. That ain't me. Uh, good on all that. <laughs> but if you want to buy your dear brother a bottle, then, like, by all means, man, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Has it really been five years since we left the old place? How time flies. I remember it like it were yesterday. We were all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome when Cupka's Lut turned up. Kupka? Cupka? Not that we knew it was them. They poured in like a plague of rats, cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Blood and bodies everywhere there was, and a voice crying out for Sid to save us in the midst of it all. Never forget those cries. Try as You're I might. Promise me you won't let anything like that happen again. Promise me that come what may, Sid will save us. Coin purse weighing you down. <laughs> you know for a fact I don't smoke anymore either, my guy. What are you on right now? I think you're on some of that celery seed is the problem. Uh, probably oh nothing. Oh Although God. those elixirs are oh, tempting. <laughs> of course you will. Of course you will. You stressing over there, boy? I thought you were working Wednesdays now. Didn't you say something about like having weekends off and working weekdays? <sighs> Things here ain't too bad. Things here ain't too bad, I suppose. I've got a decent hammer, a decent anvil, and a apprentice that knows his hammer from his cock. That is that is handy. I hate when my apprentices can't tell the difference between their hammers and their cocks. That's a real <laughs> That's a real issue there. Oh, and the furnace is alright and all. Thanks to old Sid's bellows, the god only knows what I'd keep the coals hot enough out here on the mirror without him. Not with bloody crystals, that's for sure. No, I reckon you won't find a forge like this one anywhere else in the twins, and I count myself lucky to work it. Thanks for keeping me on. You need anything, you give us a shout. You've forgotten already. Yep. I haven't. It was a right pain in the arse getting this place into shape, especially with the mess we were in. Not that it was anything new for those of us who put the old hideaway together. Still, that don't mean I intend on doing it again. Fair enough. Might discover some wild ass hallucinogen. Nah, dude. The that celery seed don't do shit. <laughs> One out of ten would not suggest, dude. It's not a good time. Do the accent? What his accent? I can't do his. I'm t have you ever heard me do an accent? 
Nah, I'm staying on my current rotation because it's casual. Uh, anything else? Any, anything else? There you go. There's <laughs> anything. <laughs> I'll do donate ten dollars right now. No, hold on. How? Clive. What was he? Clive. Things here ain't too bad. Things here ain't too bad. He doesn't have much of one, besides like, no. besides like cutting some words short and whatnot. Oh, I didn't mean to leave. Mm. <laughs> he grunts a lot. <laughs> You've forgotten already. You forgot. Because I haven't. Because I have. Yeah, he hardly has one. Yeah. What are you talking about? At least compared to like you know us. <sighs> Things here ain't too bad. Things here ain't too bad. It's just like gruff. It's not really an accent, is it? I think you're already on that celery seed is the problem. Oh. Read. Off limits. That means you. Bruh, I own this place. What are you talking about? How's it off limits to me? Get them lungs. Or not working, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's the problem, man. I haven't smoked enough of that celery seed to do his gruff, grumbly voice. <laughs> It's called the Invincible. It's Invincible. Why is it on the ground? Hello, Harpocrates. Harpocrates. <laughs> Harpocrates. Close enough. That is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. On Gods and Men, a heavy leather-bound tome containing the findings of one Anax Anaximander of Canver, a renowned theologian who spent most of his life chronicling Valisthea's diverse religious history. Yet yeah, one weird thing about this game, since we're talking about it, it's the first, like, American first game that they've done for the Final Fantasy line, at least in the main line of them. Um, like Square even recommended in Japan that Japanese people play with English voice cast instead of Japanese voice cast um, because of the not only like you know the themes of it of course but also they did all of the lip syncing for the English voice actors not for the uh, Japanese voice actors so you actually get the most authentic experience listening to all these English and I mean, I imagine there's probably some Americans and shit in there as well. Holy shit. Thank you for the bits, my guy. Appreciate you. I'm assuming you just had some left over, or are they having a sale? said. <laughs> I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that oh, I have been God. able to find little and less. <laughs> I am does sorry. <laughs> does anybody else even know who that is? <laughs> like, <laughs> other than me and you? <laughs> See if they can't I don't know how big of a following books. he has, but... I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see Is he really? Ah, oh, good for him, man. You are I only know him because of Chris. There are not <laughs> like... many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. You're not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> Isn't there one like downstairs right now? Wait, can they not see Don't them? See him well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so. I know other people can't talk to the Moogle, the but I didn't realize they couldn't even see them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. I guess? 
that we I must. mean, he just said Moogles aren't Just real. Like you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. But there's literally Nothing one like here. downstairs here. I should get some rest while I can. I'll try to find him real quick. Wait, was that an interactable? It was. Mithril, mineral most mighty. Uh, don't care. <laughs> Just move on with that. I'm straight up hallucinating off the seed right now. I mean, maybe he could be, dude. I don't know what That's he's been doing the past five years. Off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Not a stolus. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Wow, that sex scenes. No, from what I've read, it's only implied could Gav have sex. Worthy of a letter. Not like any actual full-on nudity or sex scenes or anything crazy like that. Where was the Moogle? He was... There he is. Literally right there, dude. Nectar. That's his name. Wonder what this new board is behind me, aren't you? Yeah, we already... We already know. We just can't interact with it yet. Yeah... Oddly enough, I think you're right, man. Like, I'm sure there are some out there, right? I mean, and obviously there's, like, hentai games and shit. <laughs> like, so, obviously they exist. Um, but yeah, it does seem like, for JRPGs and shit like that, at least, you don't really see them that much. Wall of Memories. What's that? The Oath? Created? Created? <laughs> the day Siv pledged his alliance to Sid. This, oh yeah, I remember that thing. That's his, uh, that's his lighter, Sid's lighter that we all stabbed our daggers into. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Reports, letters, and other important shit. Okay, the Republic's play. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see you when you're done to wear upon my return. Okay. What does God Just killing and banging? Mm. That's the, the life, ain't it? March, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's chart. Kupka. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. I still feel like the brand but is painfully obvious, man. Come. They should have cut off some like extra here. skin our on the cheek or something. I don't know. Away. Are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... 
try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. Ah, so we do know that was Joshua. I mean, we woke up in the middle of it and saw him, but... He was there. It wasn't an illusion. That's... I thought they might have just thought that. <laughs> to Ultima. Have we learned anything else about Ultima yet? If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To a world without mother crystals. No, <laughs> this isn't close to the end. We're probably like a fifth to a quarter of the way through the game, honestly. Yeah, speaking of Joshua, hello, my guy. You gave up the hood. So the North is lost. What's up, Nate? Welcome, man. I How you doing today, bro? Spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. This is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. Hey, thank you for the reason, man. Mon. <laughs> the world marches ever closer to its end, uh, and here we chase Chocobo shadows. as well. Hello, hello, sir. Tell me, brother. Are our efforts in vain? I mean, we've only taken down one crystal so far. Like, maybe if we get rid of another one or two, maybe things will start to get a little better. I was hoping once we took down the one, like things would start to regrow a bit. Moment, if you... uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Mm -mm. What do you want your uh, votes to go on, my guy? Nate, that is. What would make Martha leave the rest? Why would Martha leave the rest? That is a good question, my guy. Jack, too. I figured, but, you know, I always want to make sure. One of these days, I need to, like, actually quit the game and make sure there hasn't been an update or anything yet. I'm really hoping the remove motion blur patch comes out before I finish up, but it's not looking so good, man. <laughs> what do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers weak enough to stay put. Naturally. Old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. Couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. 
They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. So did we, like, choose an area out here in the middle of all this water specifically to try and stop Titan from attacking again? Because, I mean, there's still all the other icons to worry about. <laughs> it said something about quests. I see one. Is there anything on the world map? Like, maybe Lost Wing or anything? I think it would show from here, but... No, nothing. Okay. Well, let's pick up the one that's in town here. Wherever it is. I have no idea how to get around this place. Okay. Oh, that's right. The elevator. I forgot about the elevator. To get back down to the entrance. They really couldn't figure out a way to just put, like, stairs in here. It's a loud ass elevator too. Holy shit. Open back, Sid. Hello there, boatman. Lighty bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. Suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. He's a pleasant fellow, man. He's... Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, Live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, it's a pitch tree. Well, I'm not so Do they use special to trees to, to make pitch? Far away forest and lug the logs back here to the mere, which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax. To trap birds, okay. beetles, and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. So, caulk and ball? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> that was 100% on purpose. So where are we actually going for it? Here. Three reeds. Oh, not even far into it. Perfect. And it's right outside Martha's Rest. Even better. We can just run on over. Oof, it's hazy. Well, foggy, I guess. They probably don't get much haze around here. Not very many, like, industrial machines running, you know, to <laughs> kick up a bunch of smoke. We just, yeah. Easier than felling a forest, I said. Trees don't have teeth. I don't remember how strong these things were when we came through here last time. Is there level scaling? Is 
not like an open world game or anything, so I'm, it's not that big of a deal if there is, but tier scaling, okay. Can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. <laughs> so for this kind of game, it doesn't really bother me much one way or the other, but I do definitely prefer when games don't use level scaling, generally speaking. <laughs> It doesn't matter nearly as much in more linear experiences such as this. But like I hate in, say, Skyrim, for instance, you know? You fight a... You go through an area like a hundred times. Fighting wolves and things. Struggling a little bit in the early game. Then you come back level 50 or whatever. And suddenly the bandits and wolves and shit are much, much stronger than they were when you were going through earlier. I'd much rather just have, like, areas with levels, you know? Like, starting area is relatively low level, and if you go the intended path or whatever, then things tier or scale pretty, pretty linearly. But if you take a wrong turn somewhere, you just get your freaking ass kicked. <laughs> but if you're really good at the game, or have a really good build going or whatever, then you can just kind of skip over areas, get into areas early that you're not meant to be in, things like that. I think stuff like that's fun. 30 death lords per done. Exactly. Just, <laughs> just unnecessary. Oh, good miss, guy. What was his again? He's got... Thunderstorm, which is a single enemy attack. What was Pile Drive? Oh, that's like a AOE on me sort of thing. Okay. What other ones does he have available? I don't think we ever actually looked at that for Ramu. Oh, yeah. No, we haven't even been in the menu since we got Ramu unlocked. Lightning Rod. Create a ball of lightning that upon being struck, chains lightning to other nearby enemies. It's got decent stagger, but meh. Pile drive's not bad. Judgment Bolt. Summon from the heavens a mighty leaven bolt that deals massive damage to a single target. I do like that one. Probably Judgment Bolt and... Maybe Pile Drive for him? Not that we have the points for it right now. <laughs> Damn it, I do still want to increase our limit break gauge, but <laughs> there's always new things that I'm wanting to unlock. Company. Company. Oh, just some cray claws, dude. Leave them alone. I wonder how things have changed around here in the past five years. Obviously, if we go a little bit more north, the outskirts of Rosfield are probably going to be destroyed. I don't know if anybody would have moved back into it or not. But I have to assume it's not looking too great around there. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Yeah, yeah definitely a battle in here if recently. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physica, shall we? I'm sorry. Oh, I think I twisted something. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. <laughs> you, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. Mm -hmm. Bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. That's good. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. 
You do, do like us a good calling from time to time. was no tavern brawl. It was a messy. We going this way. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Sure. So some king somewhere is pissed. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. We did literally destroy a mother crystal. One of the things, one of the major things that gives, you know, nations their power. Can't really blame them for being a little angry. I don't think they need to go around murdering helpless uh, bearers for it, but you know, each their own, I guess. <laughs> Oh shit, I used it. Uh, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to having the potions up now instead of the other one, the the dog stuff. Torgle. Torgle commands, whatever you wanna call them. Look. Up ahead. Martha, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened! The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Shouldn't we, like, go deal with them first and they then <laughs> get the full story? Martha, <laughs> like... <laughs> do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Priorities, my guy. This Priorities. Is such a joke. There has only ever been one order of shields in this area. They fought to defend all our citizens. It seems a step too far. Even for the Empire. Did we finally get a deal with our bitch of a mother? Because that would be fantastic. I'm all for that. Probably because we stopped and talked to Martha for five minutes instead of coming straight here. I mean, I do feel bad for them, but they were on their deathbeds anyways. So it's nice of them to help save Martha. Can we deal with the people that did this, though? That would be nice. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. I see you don't recognize me. Shall they be punished? Such is the law. That's not going to end well for you. In darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Clive the angry dude. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Look at them. Of course, guys, they had no idea what was coming for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were woefully underprepared for <laughs> what they were getting themselves into. Is that all of them? I think so. Dark clouds gather. What is that? Ten... Ten what? It doesn't say. So we got our experience, of course, and then our ability points are gold. What are these? That's new. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Does it show... Here somewhere? There's Gil and ability points. Ah. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm sure it'll tell us at some point. Goodwill, maybe? I don't... <laughs> I have no idea. The abbot... Paris died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? Ye. They are. Every last one. Told me that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Let's go. Rosaria will never be safe. Let's turn Rosaria into the next hideaway. We <laughs> save. To beg Seal's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I, I shall. Jim, where are you? Jim. In here. We found a survivor. Clive. He's gone, ain't he? Yup. That didn't take long. <sighs> We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bearers... They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. 
What is that green symbol? The green and gold one. We get five more for doing this, but... Is there... There's got to be, like, a way to see... Is it in our journals? Yeah, our quest. Does it give us our... Rewards here? No. Hmm... Points, experience, skill, party members, bruh. Guess there's nothing to do but continue then. <laughs> Wait for the game to tell us what we want to know. Oh shit, we hit them all the way over there. <laughs> okay. That flame to rebirth attack has some range to it, dude. I knew it was a pretty big area. I didn't realize it was that big. Get where we're going? Okay. Just follow the path. Just gotta go around. There's no shortcut. What are you? You're new. You definitely look friendly. Oh, is this a hunt? Notorious marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Neat. I'm glad we're getting some, like, more material variety and whatnot. And renown, that must be... So it's kind of like what I was thinking with that. Doom? Uh, is there any way to, like, escape the doom? Okay, it, it forms a larger circle. This is weird. I'm assuming being in that doom circle would be a bad time for us. <laughs> Limit break still counts down, so even though everything in the world pauses, when we use the the flames of rebirth or whatever, that doesn't. The limit break gauge. That's good to know. Oh damn you!
just die, dude. You're so freaking close. Get wrecked. Really cool to see stronger creatures just out and about like that. That's nice. Decent gill reward too. No special crafting materials. I don't know if it's just because that creature or if we just got unlucky. Like maybe you can refight them for more chances at getting better materials or something. I don't know if it's like a guaranteed drop or I don't know. That must be Still the brand new. To us. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Can't necessarily be mad at like every Imperial soldier though. At the end of the day, they're just doing their orders, at least most of them. And while, like, yes, they could just say no, most likely with the way these empires work, they'd be put to death for refusing an order. Like, now a lot of them seem to revel in it, though, which, I mean, yeah, fuck those guys, but I'm sure there's got to be a decent ch chunk of them that are just doing it because they you know, feel like they have to, like they don't have a choice. It's good to know that even though in some twisted way this is our fault, <laughs> not everybody hates us. Martha's still on our side. <laughs> Take solace in what we can. You look better already, dude. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. And that was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. Or if it weren't for you, they probably would have been either, like, beaten to death or forced to use magic till they turned to stone much I earlier. Did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question. Yeah, I was just wondering that myself. My like, what's the point of killing the bearers? I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them. Preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? 
We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. Bro, why don't we just march in there and deal with her? Seriously. I hate our mother so much. <laughs> I just... Uh, bro. Ooh, our first plus sign one. These are the ones that apparently are, are important. Can we set a marker? Yeah. Okay, well, that's a terrible placement. Whatever, close enough. This very well may be our first important side quest. Will the marker automatically disappear when we get close? No, lame. I was hoping it would. You handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? chocobos. You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. Sure. I mean, <laughs> why not, dude? All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way. Mercenary chocobo under. sounds legit the enough to me. Scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dark. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock. You hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. I guess we're off to save some wild chocobo mercenaries. <laughs> Why not, dude? <laughs> Down at the bottom of this here. Chocobo. Find the hunted chocobo. Are they being hunted because they kill bandits? As ridiculous as that sounds? Or is it because they're a white chocobo? There's a feather. Some truth to the story, at least. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Oh, of course. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. What are the chances? How long do chocobos live, I wonder? Could it be Ambrosia? I assume that Ambrosia got burnt to a crisp whenever we uh, turned to Ifrit the first fight. time. But perhaps I'm wrong. That'd be pretty sick, dude. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. This off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. 
But don't say I didn't warn you. Bro, with those, like, rusted, decrepit swords and axes you got and shit, you really want to fight me with that? Forget the big fella. Oh, he's actually got a stagger gauge. Nope. You're probably going to be immune to being picked up. Yeah. You got some health on you, don't you, boy? On the larger enemies, don't the Deadly Embraces only work whenever they're half staggered? Does it have an effect when they're full staggered? You're safe now. I thought it was just half, but I wasn't sure. it is isn't it yeah they even got the scar on the eye it couldn't be no way dude ambrosia lives ambrosia it is you Of a flock. Boy, he, he is it over. So, did anybody die the night of that attack? Are we sure that what's her name's husband, Hannah's husband, is alive too? And the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. Hey, Mr. Noodle. Hello. So the real question is, are we going to let him stay free with his flock, or are we going to take him in? Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mound. 
Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, <laughs> I, uh, about that. Oh no, sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back. I reckon. Can she just follow us around like Torgal? Because <laughs> I'd pick Ambrosia over Torgal, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, Torgal's pretty cool, but... Having a giant white chocobo fighting by your side, and you can ride it? That's down the stables, we'll be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Why? Ah, are you bringing a... Yeah, a saddle. <laughs> are they giving her an eye patch too? <laughs> yeah, look at that, dude. <laughs> you did. You did. You did mention to me that uh, you had hoped that Ambrosia would live. I thought for sure she was going to be burnt to a crisp, man. She does indeed. Whenever Ifrit... Appeared, How much but do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course, but she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, white heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm, you seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my cart on the road, didn't you? Ah. No. I didn't realize it was the same guy. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, let's be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. I mean, with how much more linear this game is, I'm not surprised. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Wait. So she's staying here with her flock. Can we call her anywhere in the world? How does that work? Is she magic? <laughs> oh, more the hitbox and geometry. Okay. Bespoke saddle and blinders worn by Clive's childhood chocobo. Qua. <laughs> chocobo unlock. Let's go. Just not in towns. Effectively magic. Hold R3. Okay. Do we get attacked by enemies, I wonder, while on one? Gallop, rein in, dismount. Okay. Ooh. Weird, the way they have the trigger working with that. Okay. Um, and that's all the faster. Okay. Creatures do still attack. Do we pick up stuff? We do. Oh, God. <laughs> you can't turn around while galloping. Okay. <laughs> we have a very, very uh, wide turn radius. Yeah, not very nimble creatures, are they, in this version? Now, if we dismount, fight... Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you really could do. <laughs> I mean, I feel they probably spent a lot of time in 15 
making sure to get the, the movement around the world as solid as possible because it was so large and so open. I don't even know why I'm killing this thing, honestly, other than for the hell of it. It's not like we need any of the materials or anything. What? I thought we'd dodge that. Damn it, dude. It's gonna take some getting used to, the having three icons. Yeah, just for some black blood, like <laughs> all of that for basically nothing. Okay, well, if there's nothing else to do in town, we might as well just teleport on back to... ...base to the hideout. Oh, interesting. That it puts us up here whenever we fast travel back. I guess they realize that having to go up and down this elevator all the time is kind of dumb. <laughs> I can just imagine. They made elevators at some point. It was probably a massive pain in the ass, and they were like, no, we've done all this work making these elevators. We're going to put them in the game, <laughs> whether it makes sense or not. You find me some wax. Kind is one I got your cock and balls. Ugh. Reeks like a chock of those ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. You're a bad game. Same as me old man. It One out of seven would not recommend. Back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. You're welcome. Happy to help, my guy. I mean, we literally need your boat to get to and from this place, so... <laughs> Somebody had to do it. Be nice to your followers? Nah. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? I'm only nice to my subs. <laughs> JK, I'm a dick to you guys too. <laughs> Gav should be back by now. Well then let's go say hello, shall we? How you doing, Gav? Been alright since everybody you knew and love got murdered? Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? <laughs> what, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. Sure. You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. 
And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Which one, though? Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Iron Home. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle, Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rossfield. And you're a Rossfield, of course. <laughs> God, is he drunk or just My really dumb? Name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? <laughs> Seems dumb to be talking about this just like out in the open, man. Especially since we know the Empire knows of us, like... It seems likely they would have a spy or two about. Those counter is now open. What's Otto's counter? Lion reports, the patron's whisper, and the hunt board. Let's go. Okay, we'll check out the other two, and then we'll check out the hunt board. Because that's the one I'm most excited for. What are we waiting for, indeed? Welcome back, Sid. Order a drink by a round for the hall. Why, though? Am um, I getting on? Ah, oh, about as well as you'd expect of a barmaid pouring sour ale for penniless outlaws in the middle of the Deadlands. And it'd be worse than that if Molly here didn't make the best stew this side of stone here, even if it is mostly just yesterday's leavings. Don't tell her you heard that from me, though. Buy a round for the hall. Well, someone's in a good mood. Drink up, you lot. The next round's on Sid. I mean, <laughs> sure, it was 10,000 gil. Not exactly cheap, but does it do anything for us? Don't be a stranger, Sid. No. <laughs> it seems to literally just be a money dump. Nice. Okay. Fruits of our labors. We'll do that in a moment. Where is the mess? Down to the boarding deck and then back around. Okay. Can you have a free drink too? No. <laughs> you don't need any drink. I tried to get my brother to buy me some drink earlier, but... He would only give it to me if I got wasted on stream. <laughs> and no. Uh, Vivian, we've talked to you before. You're just like the map person, right? View the state of the room. Allow me to educate you. 
By speaking with Vivian in the Hideaway's map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current ongoings of Alistheia. Revisit any of the Ninetales past lessons or take a deeper look at the relationships of those individuals in Clive's orbit. Of course. The Grand Cast. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this is... This is a whole thing. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> ah, so all these people are dead, or presumed dead at least. Oh, wait, we know Ambrosia is alive now. Has it just not updated yet? Ah, oh, the thing did. Just no lines. Are the lines maybe the ones that are, like, currently important to the story? Story? Yeah, because they seem to change over time. Okay. Interesting. Study it well, Clive. If you have a detailed overview of current and past events. Uh, so like how all of the wars have gone on over time. Interesting. The state of the realm is ever changing. Ah, I guess we should actually ask about you and stuff. Think. One would think my role was abundantly clear by now. I offer you and yours the guiding light of knowledge, that of matters military and political, both past and present, that it might illuminate your way ahead. For it is only by understanding what has come before that one might steer one's way toward a brighter future. Your role, meanwhile, is to ensure that I remain furnished with as much information on the state of the realm as your people can muster, in order that I might continue to appraise the dispositions of the great nations and those who rule them. <laughs> and, of course, to pay attention during my lectures. It would not do to... Uh, it would not do to appoint the storied nine tales as your tutor, only to disregard her expert advice. I admit... I admit when I took up my professor's bonnet and began teaching at the University of Canver, I did not think for a moment that I would one day count Sid the Outlaw among my pupils, but nor did I imagine that my fellow educators would have designs on my life. And we both know how that ended. Has it been a year already? Such is the peril of an overly inquisitive mind, I suppose. One is wont, one is wont to uncover that which others would go to great lengths to ensure remain hidden. Were it not for you and our mutual friend having come to the rescue, my curiosity would likely have proved fatal. But instead, I was not only saved, but granted a new Lisa of life, as personal tutor a to a band of outlaws, no lies. Why are there 560 bits? Because my brother loves me? I don't... <laughs> my beloved homeland. The crossroads of Alistheia were only, uh, where one only has to stroll the streets to hear news from every far-flung corner of the realm. Its mother crystal yields more shards than any other, and its lands even now remain untouched by the blight. It's a blessed country or indeed. Least, or at it least was. it was until Sam Breck elected to invade and establish a new holy capital upon Twin Sides' heretofore neutral shores. It pains me to see the land I love so changed, and even more to know that I did not predict it. I knew that Emperor Sylvester had designs on the Dominion. But to abandon Oriflame, the seat of the Holy Empire, since its inception, seemed too audacious a move even for him. Hmm. So Interesting. Soon. I'm surprised with, like, as much power as you would think they would have. Like, with the largest mother crystals, all of their treaties and things. I'm surprised they went down so easily. Oh, Clive. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The patron's whisper. Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalog every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Door? Your benefactors are a generous lot. Ah, completing side quests will earn Clive renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Visit Des Desiree at the Patron Whisper in the Hideaway's Mess to view current renown level and accept any donations available. So it's just another form of currency that we can buy stuff with. Man, one meteorite is 45 renown. 
Berserker Ring. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't feel like we need any of this stuff at the moment. Although the 400 ability points would be nice to to grab. I wonder how rank works. Like if it's our, what today, the amount of renown we have at the moment. Like the max that we save up. Or is it like total gained over time? I'm guessing it's total business gained over time. But Business is busy. On top of my regular duties here at the Whisperer. Otto has piled countless other tasks, from transcribing and sorting stolas reports to penning needful missives. Not that I'm complaining, mind. I enjoy writing. I have ever since I learned my letters from Jara back in the old hideaway. I won't claim to have been his best student, though. That still. honor goes to Shirley. Sure, sure. I don't know. Still, still, I like to think Jara would be proud of me, too. Were he here with us today. What are your takes on the Words past five years? Are Words are immortal. They live on in others. And if the words are your own, so too will you. Do you know who told me that? It was Shiara, in our last lesson before Titan came. It stayed with me ever since his passing, and inspired me to become what I am today. I imagine we survivors all have a story like that, of someone who remained with us, even though they're gone. Off you go, then. And what do you do, then? Got. You look at the list, do you? Goat. Ugh. So much has happened since that night, feels like a lifetime ago, but we'll never forget those who didn't make it. Kenneth, Martel, they're still with us in our hearts. And Sid, when I found out he was gone, I thought that was it for us, us but he's still with us too, with us, and in you. You took his name and gave us hope when we had none. So I suppose what I'm trying to say is, don't be a stranger, eh? A hideaway ain't nothing without it, Sid. Oh, same old. And who are you exactly? <laughs> I really don't remember you that much, I gotta be honest. Otto's got me reading through the reports coming in from our allies and picking out what problems need dealing with now and what we can be saved for later. It was still early days back in the old place, so I could just about handle the job myself. State of the world now, though. I need Dee's help to sift through it all. And that's just the sifting. Actually solving any of those problems is a whole other headache. The curse breakers take the urgent stuff, but we're still stuck waiting for volunteers Sorry. to handle the rest. Uh, if you ever find yourself at a loose end, well, you know where to find me. Oh, that's right. Look. This is a way for us to, like, find quests without going to Always the map, basically. Clive. No, I'm done with you guys. Stranger, eh? Goodbye. This is the important one. Hello, Nectar. Clive, there you are, Koopo. I've been looking all over for you. The matter is this, Koopo. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Of course not, Koopa. I knew all that already. And that's why I need your help, as I need not remind you, Koopo. I'm the mightiest of all the Moogles. No fiend of the forest or ghoul of the green sword. Oh, so I need you to slay them all, Koopo. I did not read that fast right. enough. <laughs> well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Oh, thank you, Koopo. It's so good to have found someone who understands me, Koopo. And apparently can see you. I'll stay here then and keep an eye on all the billets that get posted on the board. So if there's anything you need to know, Koopo, I'm your Moogle. One of your adventures, Nectar. Did I ever tell you about the time I visited the Great I Continent? Don't think so. Of course I didn't, because I've never been. <laughs> Look at these wings. They look like the sword that might carry a Moogle across countless leaks of open sea. They call me Nectar the Bold, not Nectar the Stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Precisely what you see before you. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think... I think we got all that sorted. View the board. What's available? Ports of Fiends terrorizing the countryside. Our post of the hump board. Those are our notorious marks. So we took down the one already. So you can just find these out in the wild too. You don't necessarily need to come to the hump board. You can just go find it. That's pretty sick. Nectar the bull. Nectar is pretty sick. I really like Nectar. I mean, Koopas are always cute, but... So if we... Ah, so it literally just gives us info and reward for it. We actually have to, like, go find it on our own. 
A trader coming by the way of Cair Norvent met with a troop of curse breakers traveling in the opposite direction and warned them of a wicked winged harpy on the road ahead, his eyes wild and flickering. Though the curse breakers saw nothing untoward on their own journey through their past, the sound of cackling laughter from the trees ensured that they kept a brisk pace. Clairview San Breck, you say, huh? Wasn't there a quest? Yeah, we might as well grab that quest real quick before we go, because never know where that's going to take us. It could just happen to take us near Clairview. Clairview, Clearview, whatever. Sam Breck. Not the shelves. I think it's alright to touch him. Uh, there it is. Down to the gardens, my guy. Do you need me to go and collect more dirt for you? Is that is that what what's about to happen? Won't be long now, Martel. See, I, I am uh, was open to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's Does it taste any better yet? That's what I really want to know. When she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Hey, so let's go. Like, That's fact. sick. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Why not? I'm sure they'll be pleased. It'd be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? Once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. Doesn't breeding plants take, like, an abnormally long time? <laughs> the fact that one lady did it in however long the, the hideaway existed is honestly really impressive. Oh, wait, was somebody down there figuring out that ether doesn't make shit grow? <laughs> Dirt and water does? Nutrients? Are they about to discover nutrition? Did you come through the forge today? I'm really taking the long way around, aren't I? Well, we've already started. No point in turning back now. I feel like the longer we play the game, the more pretty it gets. Which isn't what I would normally expect. I'd normally expect it to be like the other way around, you know? More attention to detail spent in the early game and less in the late game. Today, Clive visited the infirmary to have me dress a laceration on his left forearm. Clean and stitch the wound and instruct him to rest the arm so that it could heal. But not an hour later, he was leaving on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he's disobeyed, disobeyed my instructions. The next time he comes to me for treatment, I'm trying him to the bed. That's great, dude. What do you expect from me, my guy? I'm a busy fella. Once the Dalmecs have laid siege to the Dominion, very little will be leaving Twinside, including the many medicines distilled there. I just want these curse breakers to try the apples and <laughs> they just taste like shit. Spit them out. <laughs> like. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here. Courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? 
Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. So it sounds like she literally died for these apples. <laughs> like, holy hell, dude. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. All these people really been here for five years and not realized that they were growing a fruit tree down there? Like... Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. Leaving already? Enjoy the rest of your shift, love. Give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? Wait, we don't animals. actually have to go back there, do we? I head to the Son of a bitch. <laughs> the side quest in this game sucks so bad, dude. So bad. 90% of them just have you running around in circles. By nude. <laughs> oh, God. Nope, it's too late now. Her name's nude now. <laughs> That's just what I'm gonna call her from now on. Even off stream, it's just nude. <laughs> She's gonna be so confused. I don't even. <laughs> no, you gotta call her Leia. Since she called you nude, she's Leia. That seems fair. She loves that name, anyways. She'd probably thank you for it. breakers send their thanks and their compliments they were clearly very fond of Martel they remembered her a after all these years I suppose she was very kind even to a tongue-tied lummox like me are you sure you haven't already been drinking there why did you asking for a free drink earlier can't even type my guy she wasn't gonna rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy and now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. Can't we get plenty of fruit? Martel? Like, Isn't in all of our travels? Shouldn't we let the people here time we planted you some siblings, get you? some first? Can't drink, you have the children. <laughs> She's hungry, dude. Give her some food. Preferably not, you know, cell phones. Like, <laughs> just let the people starve. Yeah, all the people that literally make this hideaway possible, fuck them. <laughs> just let them all wither away to nothing, dude. 
I mean, they should be used to it. Most of them were bearers. Oh, and Twitch died. Uh, we were doing so well today. Is it... Is it gonna come back? It... <laughs> I was literally thinking earlier, too. I probably jinxed myself. Because I was thinking, like, dude, Twitch is doing so well today. We haven't had any connection problems. Everything's great. And then dead it. <laughs> like... Well, hey, chat's still working at least. It's just video that's not working. That's good. If they lived there for five years and didn't know about a fruit tree, then they deserve to starve? Rude. Come on. Okay, there we go. I think it reconnected. Oh, shit. Why am I actually going the long way down here? We can just pull it up this way. Oh, nope. It's dead again. <laughs> Uh, I'll do the thing, the usual, make sure it's not my internet. Hold on. I don't think it is. Well, websites are loading just fine. How's my download and upload speed? I mean, not the download really matters. If I could skip the download, go straight to the upload, I would. I can't even properly see the... Oh, it's the B. <laughs> it's not showing up for some reason. I'm guessing because everything's half broke. Yeah, nope, my internet's fine. It's not me. It's Twitch again because... I don't know, dude. I don't know if everybody has this many problems with Twitch or if it's just me, but I get so unlucky with it constantly. It's always dying on me. Is it going to reconnect? It's like it completely disconnected. I've got zero kilobits a second right now. Come on, game. Or not game. <laughs> Come on, Twitch. Are we just going to have to... What if we like stop streaming and started restreaming? Hold on. Uh, da 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 let me check if there's a better server up and running at the moment. Run that. It's not going to be a good test because I'm currently streaming, but... Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da, OBS, start. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't mean to do one more to do Mexico. Stream go burr. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's multiple servers down. Just straight failing. Wow, dude. Like, all of them are just straight failing at the moment. Not literally all of them, but the entire East Coast and Mexico just straight up failed the stream test. Let's try again. I blame. How's it my fault? <laughs> what did I do? Okay, Quebec seems to be working pretty well. If it drops again, maybe we'll swap over to Quebec. Because I definitely want to play at least another, like, hour today. Um, we missed out on Tuesday. Okay, Toronto is back up and running again. Which I'm pretty sure is the one I'm actually connected to. So hopefully it was just, like, a, a temporary glitch something going on with, with Twitch. Hopefully we're all good now. Said if it if it happens again, I'll swap the server to Quebec because that one seems to be doing okay. We're forced to travel here, so we can't do the hunt right now. I was <laughs> looking forward to going to a hunt, but to be fair, if I get a chance to murder my mother, I'd be even more excited. So. He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kubka take us unawares. Besides, 
He has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. Then wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Oh. It's going red. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> and she's dead, Jim. All right. Do, 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 do. Can I change? Yes. Where is Quebec? Quebec, 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 Canada. North America, Mexico, West, Central, U.S., Canada, Toronto. Where's Canada, Quebec? Is that one just not available to me? What? U.S. West, South America, U.S. West, Europe. What the hell, dude? Um. Okay. Is it possible? To just... Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can try just a West Coast server since I can't seem to find the other Canadian one. Let's try West Coast. Let's see how West Coast works. Okay. I couldn't find the other Canadian server in the list for some reason. But... I was able to get just a random Western U.S. server. So, it seems like the whole Eastern side of North America is having problems right now. At least as far as Twitch goes. Although, with that said... Oh, oh, it's turning red. <laughs> She's going down. <laughs> God. All right. Well, in that case, then, I think we are going to have to kill it short, sadly. But we're in the middle of a cutscene, so I'm at least going to try to get through this cutscene before it before it goes. Maybe it caught on fire? <laughs> yeah, maybe. To turn one day. Return to Iron Home. For what? After learning the truth... You were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. All right. Well, it was a shortcut scene. Um, but yeah, guys, it seems like because it is working with the server I have selected now, but it's an unstable connection. Uh, and the whole eastern seaboard seems to be fucked. So I think we're pretty much going to have to call it, sadly. Uh, you would think, like, with as large of a company as Twitch is, they would be able to, like figure some way out to automatically shuffle people around or something to to different servers and like or just prevent these problems from cropping up to begin with i'm not some networking engineer i i don't know much about twitch's back end so i don't know it's probably a harder problem than i give it credit for but like holy hell dude you're the number one streaming platform on the internet how have you not figured this out I don't remember which saves which. I guess I'll just 6371773. Was this the one I was saving? Eh, it doesn't matter, whatever. Alright, yep. <laughs> Alright guys, well, have a good night, I guess. Today is 
Wednesday. It's a weird day for me. I had to think for a moment. So we'll be back tomorrow night at least, assuming everything's working all right with Twitch. So hopefully I see some of you guys then. Huge shout out to uh, OptiJack if you're still around. I do appreciate that uh, those bits from earlier, my guy, and everybody else just for coming in. Thank you guys. Have a good night. And uh, as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.